our friends from the American Indian Veteran Association Color Guard, led by a Vietnam 101st Airborne vet named John Navarro, who's been on our flight. Thank you, John, for bringing your crew today. As you guys can tell, you know, from the very inception of Central Valley Honor Flight, one of the really powerful dynamics of it was the power you guys, as our veterans, have to bring the rest of us together. The things that everybody disagrees on at every other time of the year, people put aside those differences and say, you know what, our veterans deserve our gratitude. And that includes our members of Congress. And we're so grateful for the support they've provided from our first flight to now our 30th flight and there's one congressman who's been supporting us from the first flight all the way to the 30th. And he's part of why you guys are going to get to see the U.S. Capitol tomorrow. Please welcome Congressman Jim Costa. Thank you very much, Paul. It's always great to hear the voice of the Bulldogs, right? Yeah. Good morning, Valley Veterans. Are you excited? You should be. It's going to be a great trip for you and for your guardians. Um, as Paul noted, uh, I have had the privilege and the honor to greet 30 honor flights over the years, uh, usually in Washington. But when we're not in session, like at this time, uh, I always want to come to the airport and see you off or see you when you come back because a grateful nation can never, ever say thank you enough. Because I want to tell you a little bit about yourselves. I know that sounds a little pretentious. But one of the neat things is we see veterans who go on this flight who've been hesitant to talk about their service. But when they get around their fellow veterans, all of a sudden they start to open up. And we certainly hope that you experience that. And you're going to realize that some of you are connected in ways you didn't know. Some of you were on the same ship at the same time. Some of you were in the same infantry brigade. Some of you were in the same battles. Even if you weren't, you have common experiences. So here are just a few bullet points. Maybe that's not the best phrase to use. <laughs> here are a few of things about the 70 of you honored veterans wearing the red jackets and the red hats. We have... 70 veterans from 19 hometowns in six different counties. One woman, a 91-year-old Korean War veteran. And there's only one veteran who's got you beat by about four months. He's a few months older, and he lives out at the veteran's home too. Uh, age 69 is the youngest on this flight and 91 is the oldest. The decorations represented, it's humbling to think about some of the things that you all did. We have people on this flight who are awarded the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Legion of Merit, and yes, several Purple Hearts on this flight. And we all know it's not about the decorations. And a lot of times the most intense things you were involved in, there was no one around to write you up for a medal. A lot of people on this flight have told me that they were wounded, didn't get the Purple Heart. And a lot of times it was because they knew there were others who were more badly wounded. It says so much about the perspective you all have. The things that you've gone on to do that have made a difference in our communities since your time in the service. That's pretty impressive too. We have a lot of educators on this flight. We even have a couple PhDs going on this flight. We have law enforcement officers, including the guy who was the police chief in my hometown, the center of the universe when I was growing up. That's Los Banos, California, for those who don't know. <laughs> and thankfully, he never had to handcuff me. Thanks, Mike, for that. We have veterans from the Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, and the Air Force. No Coast Guard veterans on this flight. We're getting ready to fly on that trip of a lifetime. Uh, we should be airborne by 8 o'clock our time, 
and we'll be arriving back in the East Coast approximately about 3.30, and away we begin the process of taking 70 of my fellow Vietnam veterans to, Central, to um, the East Coast, and it's gonna be, for them, I guarantee a very moving trip. Well, I think that you always see that in the veteran community. Uh, that's why we're, we're a pretty uh, uh, closely knit group. And with the old experience here with Honor, my, my brothers will have that experience. So they'll will share things with each other. More importantly, they're going to share things with some of their guardians, especially if they're related, that they didn't know their father or grandfather experience. And that's part of the magic of Honor Flight, in that it gives permission to share with a family member some of the things they went through over a half a century ago. Things that are tough, things that are not pleasant, but things that are what they had to do in service of their country. Very satisfying, also exhausting. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's really emotional for me, the brothers, especially for my fellow Vietnam vets, when they come home here to Fresno, the airport, I encourage everyone, come here, please be here. Because there's approximately about maybe 2,000 people that will be here. And they're gonna have that experience that 50 years ago we did not have. We had men that had things thrown at them, they were hit with things. One of my veteran brothers was hit with a beer can in the face above his right eye. He didn't get wounded in Vietnam until he was at the San Francisco National Airport and that beer hit him, he was bleeding on his uniform. So when I tell the brothers now, America has changed. Because the thing about, I think, our generation of veterans, we have the, you know, the World War II veterans that are the greatest generation, then the Korean War veterans who are it's unfortunately a forgotten generation. The present generation of guardians very often are our 9-11 veterans, I call them the most patriotic. But then there's another generation of veterans that I call the most faithful. And that's my fellow Vietnam veterans because we are faithful to America when America was not faithful to us. And times have changed and it's a great change. And join us at the homecoming so you can give that love and patriotism that these 70 brothers of mine and one, oh, one lady, a Korean War veteran, 91 years young, who's on this flight as well. Come to that, be part of that, be part of our alumni, be part of the great news I think that our flight represents. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel, where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.